In this video, we'll have a look at how to turn value counts into a data frame. For an example, I have a list of numbers and I want to get the absolute and relative frequency of our elements. First steps, import pandas as pd, take our list, turn that into a data frame, as we can see here. In our next step, we'll use the value counts method to get the frequencies of our numbers in the list. So as you can see, number five comes up four times, number four one time, number nine also one time. Next thing we want to do is I want my column names to be values and absolute frequencies. So for the first column, we will do df counts equals df counts dot rename axis and I will call this one value and we'll also have a look at it. Perfect. Next column will be a little bit tricky and I want to show you how. What I would normally do, I would just take df dot counts columns and then call this a frequency for absolute frequency. And as you can see, this does nothing because the dot columns method is reserved for a data frame, but the value counts returns a series. So we have to turn the series into a data frame first. What we can do is, or what the natural way of doing this is, I will take a new one and I will just call this test so I don't mess up everything. And we take our value counts and call to frame. And oops, the wrong one. Go. And this does return a data frame, but it still uses our values as an index. And I don't want that. I want an index and I want the value to be the first column. So in order to do that, we will delete everything we did until here. And I will just let this run real quick. So it's the same thing. There we go. So what we have to do is call the reset index function on our df counts. So we'll type df counts dot set index and the name will be a frequency. Let that run. Now we see we have our index separate, value is the first column and absolute frequency is the second one. So finally, for the relative frequency, we'll just get a new line and I will just copy this. Go. And here we have it. I hope this helped. See you next time.